Sheila couldn't see him, but she knew he was there somewhere across the street. She could feel his eyes on her. Her phone rang, startling her. With a shaky hand, she pulled it out of her raincoat pocket. It was a text, sender, unknown. Was it him? Standing under the awning, she bit her lip and opened the text. Maybe you should ask your husband about this. There was a link. Sheila knew she shouldn't open a link from some stranger. She checked the time. She had only a few minutes to get to the Century Ballroom to teach her dance lesson. She told herself to delete the damn thing and get on her way. But she wondered what Dylan had to do with this cryptic link. She couldn't help thinking the blonde-haired creep was behind this. It seemed like too much of a coincidence that a stranger was following her at practically the exact same time she received this strange text. There had to be a connection. She clicked on the link. An article from the Oregonian popped up with the headline, Portland Woman Falls to Her Death from Apartment Building Roof. Sheila immediately checked the date. It was from almost two weeks ago. As the rain tapped on the awning overhead, Sheila read the article about a 44-year-old divorcee, Antonia Newcomb. Sheila didn't know her. She'd never heard of her. The woman was survived by a 16-year-old daughter. The victim appeared to have been sunbathing on her apartment building roof before she fell. The article didn't say if her death had been an accident or suicide or if foul play was involved. Apparently, the police hadn't determined that at the time the article was written. Sheila felt sick to her stomach. She had no idea who this woman was. But the way she died was too horrible and too familiar. And it had happened in Portland, of all places. She wondered why Dylan was supposed to know about this. Clutching the phone in her hand, Sheila gazed across the street again for the seedy-looking blonde guy. But there was no sign of him.